So Zenkaiju episode 3 was very interesting and I've got mixed opinions about this episode. Some things I loved, some things I didn't love and overall I'm stuck in the middle of did I like this episode or not and it's hard to say because this episode I had a lot of fun watching it but there were some things I just wasn't feeling. So in this episode we have Marjean joining the team who was based on Margie Ranger known as Mystic Force in the West and she's a very interesting character like we kind of learn what she's about she's very timid she's very scared she's an otaku when it comes to magic and fortune telling and stuff like that so that's her little gimmick and her gimmick is she does say mmm in every sentence so yeah that's her gimmick but I'm glad we got a bit of backstory with Marjean in her introduction because if you've been watching Zenkaicha since the beginning, you've seen her make cameos here and there and she does recap what happens to her when she arrived in the human world. And what's also really interesting about the character Marjean is she has a history of Durin and Durin knew Marjean when she was a little Kikanoid and we do get the dive into her past where she was very timid and she relied on luck and magic to make the decisions she wanted to make. So you're a minute into watching this review hopefully and you're probably wondering what didn't I like about the episode? Well, I felt like the whole ice gag was overdone because almost every other scene people are slipping and sliding and they're trying to stand on their feet. They're knocking each other, they're knocking each other over. And although it was funny the first few times, it did get a little bit, de it, not degrading, um, tiring after a while because it was funny the first time, wasn't funny of the tenth time when everyone's slipping and sliding all over the place. I mean, it was okay here and there, but it felt a little overdone in some situations. Not only that, the background they used for the world freezing was not the best looking. You can tell this was done on a green screen and it is very, very noticeable when they do some of the angles because this is, I don't want to say generic green screen, but they could have maybe added a few more effects with the snowy background. Like I understand like the city is turning into ice. It's freezing all over the place that it's becoming an ice age and stuff like that. But there are some shots, like when Zenkaija, it's a behind shot of Zenkaija, a behind close-up shot of Zenkaija um, when he confronts the bad guys. And because they're using the same green screen just on different angles here and there, it's very noticeable on some shots. I mean, if you go back and watch the episode, you can notice that some of the shots or some of the green screen effects they use for the ice world stand out like a thumb and I understand why they're doing it because it's green screen you can't freeze all of Tokyo for this but I don't know maybe they could have added some sort of like icy wind effect or snow effect just to make it seem a little bit lively here and there but some of the shots like I said the over the head shot and some of the wide shots here and there the green screen of the ice background is very very noticeable like they could have had some extras in the background maybe to make it pop out like a little bit but oh well it is what it is I mean I, I'm bitching about the smallest things when it comes to this review but like I said Overall, it had some funny things when it came to the ice gags, and one of them was when they had to try and find the where the tower was so they can stop the bad guys. And Marjean's doing her little hmm hmm predictions. And the first place they go to is the sky tower from episode one that Kaida wanted to jump down. Then they go to the sauna. Then they go to a haunted house. Like they're the gags you get, but. When they go to the haunted house, I was expecting that Durin the old man, who would have been frightened of a ghost, would have popped it in the face just for the lols. I know that's a horrible thing, but I was wondering if that's the joke they made. Like, he would, like, attack it in self-defense. I don't know. Am I a horrible person for making that joke? I don't know. But, yeah. But what's also really fun is Marjean interacting with Gowan, because Gowan kind of calls bullshit on her fortune telling and her prediction saying it's a load of shit and I love how expressive these robots and these suits can be because Marjean she's like puffing up her shoulders and she's moving around like for a person in a suit these guys can be really expressive so I like it when she tries snapping back at him saying well if you haven't heard of or seen these people I'm a big fan of then you don't know if it's real or not so shut your mouth so Marjean eventually joins the team 
And we do get the gag of not a minion getting shot or a bad guy getting shot, but Marjean shooting herself in the face when Han did these, um, the Gatling henshin device. I forget what it's called already. I apologize. They, they have complicated names. I can't remember them every week, but, um, yeah, she shoots herself in the face, so that's the running gag they keep doing. I mean, I would have, I mean, it would have been sort of funny, maybe funny again if they shot a bad guy, but it was kind of out of left field that Marjean would be like a klutz and shoot herself in the face with the um, henchin device, so that's the gag they're doing. I think we've got one more Ranger to do it with, and maybe it's over. Who knows? Maybe they'll keep doing it, but that's the running gag they've had since recruiting new people, but... Marjean's powers are very, very interesting because she can use all kinds of magic abilities and I haven't seen Margie Ranger. I haven't seen Margie Ranger and I can't remember much of Mystic Force, but Marjean's powers when she transforms, she's able to turn herself into dark magical hats from Yu-Gi-Oh! or uh, dark magical cups and she can teleport from place to place and trick the bad guys and that was a cool visual. She can make a magical force field shield and when she turns into a Zord state, she turns the bad guys into a snow cone. That's right, a snow cone so they defeat him. So the bad guys destroyed and Marjean joins the team and the episode ends with Marjean doing her fortune telling and you see glasses in her crystal ball alluding to Vroom, the blue Kikinoid, to join the team next week. So yeah, we've nearly got the team formed up to four episodes which is okay because if you watch older sentai it does take a little bit of build up to form the full team like in jetman and stuff like that but i feel like things are moving a little bit too quickly if you know what i mean i could be crazy i could be wrong but i also kind of wish we could maybe have some more episodes like giving the Kikinoids more focused of them joining the team, learning about them a little bit more. I know we're going to get more focus episodes on them later down the line, but maybe they could have made some of these episodes two-parters or something like that, because the pacing seems all right here and there, but I don't know, may maybe I'm being a little bit uh, nostalgic, wanting like longer build-up episodes for Rangers joining the team and stuff like that, so... Overall, I think it was a pretty average episode. I mean, it wasn't as good as the first two episodes, but I did enjoy it and I still have mixed feelings about it because the gags were a little bit distracting because they kind of have it in your face with everyone slipping on ice and then the visuals were a little bit distracting. I mean, the ice screen screen is the only thing that I found distracting. Everything else, like the fight scenes and the Zord scenes, is pretty cool. But like I said, everything else that I just complained about, that's like my only nitpick or my gripes with the episode. So overall, it was an average episode. I liked some things, I didn't like some things. Uh, I will end the review with this by saying Marjean is cute as a button. I love her voice, I love her personality and stuff like that. And she's, I don't want to say she's my favorite Kikinoid so far. I mean, Juran is pretty high up there because he's the cool old man. But I think um, Marjean is kawaii as fuck and... I'm excited to see what she'll do next when once the full team is together and she's interacting with them. But I do like the fact that they gave her a backstory and we learnt a little about her this episode and she's got history with, with Durin because Durin and Marjane, they seem like the interesting characters here if they've got a history together. Especially Durin from what we learnt about him, about him in episode 1 where he doesn't like the people at the top and the bad guy faction we've met so far. So I'm excited to learn what Durin's backstory is as episodes progress and stuff like that. But I'm glad they gave them backstories. I kind of wish we got Gowan more of a backstory. We ca we kind of know what his personality is like. That's about it. But hey, I'm guessing not every character is going to get a backstory right away. And we'll learn more about them as the series progresses. But either way, I'm going to end this review by saying Marjean is kawaii as fuck. And 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and don't forget to turn on all notifications. Special thanks to all the members such as Swagger4. If you want to get your name shout out at the end of a video like Swagger4 over here, become a Zord tier member or higher, where you'll get special perks in the videos and on the channel and stuff like that. So, with that said, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Bye!